was like shocked, unbelieved that this would never happen in North Carolina. But it's 2020, so I guess nothing surprises me anymore. An abrupt awakening leaves people stunned as an earthquake shakes our state. North Carolina jolted by its strongest earthquake today in about 100 years, with people feeling the effects from the northwestern parts of the state to central North Carolina and Virginia. Tonight, Allegheny County is under a state of emergency after this morning's 5.1 magnitude earthquake. The epicenter of the quake is in the town of Sparta near the Virginia border. We have a look at the cleanup there coming up, but our team coverage begins tonight with CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco in Raleigh. Parts of North Carolina waking up to a powerful 5.1 magnitude earthquake on Sunday. It hit near Sparta at 8.07 in the morning, buckling roads, taking out power, and damaging property. Janine Evans tells me she felt it in her southeast Raleigh home. And I looked around the room, everything was just kind of doing this number. And, <laughs> and I just sat there holding on to the arms of the chair, looking around, and then it stopped. More than 91,000 people reported feeling the earthquake to the USGS. It was felt hundreds of miles away as far away as Atlanta and in Washington, D.C. While Evans felt shaking at her house, she says her neighbor across the street didn't feel a thing. It depends upon the rock you're standing on top of. And there are many places in North Carolina, such as in Raleigh, where there's solid rock at the surface. And if you're close to that solid rock, you would feel it more than people that have a large layer of sediment. Dr. Kenneth Taylor is the state geologist for the North Carolina Geological Survey. He says there there were several small earthquakes near Sparta on Saturday, a clue that a big one like Sunday's was bound to happen. I couldn't predict it, but the whole thing about it is if you have a series of earthquakes in one particular area, you're expecting there will eventually be one large one. The USGS says aftershocks are expected, and it's likely parts of the state could feel smaller earthquakes over the next week. In Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.